All right, so we're going to wrap up this Lego. I got a Christmas gift. Yeah, no, okay, maybe not quite. All right, so the last thing to add on this is these little... If you look at a Lego, there's a little bar right here to help support it a little bit. So we're going to add that in, and then I'm going to teach you how to put a couple Legos together. So I always found that to be a little fun. All right, so we're going to click this bottom surface right here, and we're going to go to Create Sketch again. All right? Now, we're going to make a rectangle, and we're going to put it kind of about right here-ish. Make sure you attach it to both ends, okay? That's what we're going to do about right there. I do need to project this outside circle right here, okay? Now I need to dimension it. So what this will do is this will add exact measurements to what I need. And I'm going to go 0 0.01 possibly, I'm guessing. And if you want to change it, you double click, let's go 0 0.02. There you go, I like that better. Okay, we're going to do that on both sides so it's equally spaced out. 0 0.02. Okay, next thing we got to do is trim. Trimming is a way to take off a segment of the line that you no longer need. So I'm going to click trim, I should be able to click this, I click this, and there we go. Let's hope this works. Hit finish sketch, I'm going to press extrude, click here, click here, oh good you did. And we're going to go, we don't want to go all the way up because usually in Legos these don't go all the way up. So let's go up 0 0.4. 0 0.04. Nope, 0.4. Press enter and we got ourselves a Lego, boys. Alright, cool. Okay, so we need to do one thing next. Alright, I showed you guys a little bit of this the other day. Maybe. Of course, I'll which class I'm talking to now because I could be playing this thing for years to come. Is I want to save this thing four times. Okay, because I want to make four different colors of Legos. All right, so here's what I'm going to do I'm going to click default and I'm going to choose four different colors. If you don't want to choose my colors, you want to you choose your own, it's fine. But I'm going to go red. Okay. And real quick, I'm going to save this as, let me find a good folder to put it in, Let's go right here. Actually, I'm going to make a folder called Legos. Why? Because I'm smart and that's how I roll on that one. So I know where it goes. You might want to do the same. Red Lego. Okay, now I'm going to make another color Lego. Now we're going to go, I'll do a blue. Sky blue, great. And save as. We're going to go blue Lego. I think you get what I'm doing here. And next we're going to go to, why not, yellow Lego. Save as yellow Lego. Okay. And we'll do one more. Hmm. We'll do, I don't know, magenta Lego. You can choose whatever colors you wish. Okay, so now we have a Lego saved, okay? So next one I'm going to teach you is how to attach these things. All right, so here we go. So next we're going to go up to File, and we're going to go New. And we're going to do standard IAM, standard IAM. What this is, is this file is used to be able to put things together. So I'm going to hit place here and go find your Legos. And you do this one at a time. You're going to dump one of your Legos in each. So hit place, go in, hit magenta, dump it. It doesn't matter where you put it at, but I'll explain why here in a moment. So place, red, place, yellow. Boom, there you go. All right, so these pieces have no real surface to them whatsoever. They, they will go through each other. So all I'm doing is I'm left clicking and I'm moving around here, okay? Um, the other features of this is something called a free rotate, which will allow you to move something around to your wish. Okay, I'm gonna realign this so it's a little bit easier. But if you make a mistake, press Control Z. Okay, so I wanna stack these things one on top of another. Okay, I'm not going to do anything really big fancy here. 
um, I just want to snap them together. Okay, so here's how I do this. I'm going to click on this button here. It's called Constrain. Now you have two main features. You have Mate and Flush. Okay, Mate puts two pieces together. Flush will line them up. All right, so there's probably four or five different ways I could do this. I'm just going to choose a way and run with it. So what I'll do first is let's do a flush. I want you to hit two of the large sides on there, and you'll probably hear a popping sound. You press apply. Now what that did was, no matter what I do from this point on, these two will always be flush. As you see, if I move one, the other goes. Now I just can't put it on here because it doesn't know where to actually go yet. I'm going to press constrain. I'm going to do another flush. I'm going to go here and here. Well, now it's lined up. I'm going to press apply. And now, as you see here, they all go together, but they're not quite together yet. So next, I press on the constraint button. I may do each piece different, just to mess with you guys. I'm going to click on this surface here. And then I have to zoom in on this one. And then I have to hit this surface right here. Pop, apply, and now it's done. Now, if you did it right and you move one, the other ones go with it. Okay, so now I'm going to do it again to these. Okay, press constrain. I'm going to do this one differently, just to show you guys different ways. I'm going to click this. You also can click an edge too. So under a mate, you can just click an edge. So I'll click this edge and I'll click this edge right here. And then they pop in. I'm just going to keep going. I'm not going to press escape this time. Click on. I will, oh, oops, I didn't press apply. So this one, I'm gonna click this edge and this edge here, and actually, I'm done. That was one less step than my last time, okay? Ooh, I'll show you something really neat at the end. I'm gonna do constraint again. I'll do the same way just to save ourselves a little bit of time. So click that edge, click this edge here, pops on there, press apply. I'll do a flush. Boom, boom, apply. Okay, got Legos put together. All right, now watch this. I think you'll like this next part. Okay, I'm going to go to rectangular pattern. Okay, and this time I'm going to click on rectangular pattern right here. I'm going to click all three, all four guys. Okay, I'm going to do a column. I'm going to click this edge right here. Look at that. Let's change this to uh, 6. I'm sorry, but that's kind of cool. Hit row. Go that way. Okay. Spacing is a bit much. So I'm going to change this. I believe it's 1.5. Nailed it. Uh, let's do 6 by 6 wall. If you hear someone hacking in the background, that's my son. He's sick. Look at that. We just made a big old wall there. So that's what you got to do on this one. All right. So do me a favor. Uh, go ahead and save this. I'm not going to go much further on this one. If you want to try to do something cool, just call me over and maybe I can help you figure something else out. But for now, we're just going to go with this. So we're going to call this one Lego wall. All right. I'm not going to bother with the presentation drawing. We're just going to wrap this sucker up. Okay. So the last thing we're going to do is we're going to do what's called a sheet. A sheet is a method to be able to print off your document as you did it. So here's what you have to do. Press File. Press New. You're going to go to this ansi.idw. And you wait. Okay. On Sheet, you're going to right-click on Sheet, and you're going to go to Edit Sheet change D to A and press OK. The bottom of your sheet you see it says draw and title. We're going to change that. You have to go to file and go to this thing called I properties. Okay, this thing should pop up right here. You're going to go to project, no sorry, to the summary. Change user to your name. Change title to 4 by 2 Lego. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. Hit base. We have to go up here because I know I have my part right there. I don't want the wall, just one of my Legos. Change your scale to one to one. So that's what size it is. You're going to just move your mouse up 
And then if I move mouse to the right and like this, I can right click and press OK and there's my piece. Alrighty. Um, the last thing I'm going to do is do just as, I'm going to do some simple measurements on this. I'm not going to go too overly overboard on this because I want to see where you guys are at. If you click on the annotate button, you have to do this. I want you just to click on this edge right here, this 0.75, just press OK after that comes up. And I'm going to go to this side right here. Make sure you zoom in on it. Like that. So this way, at least I know a little bit of what you guys did. So if you can put these three measurements on here, that would be great. Okay, last thing to do is I want to change this to because I don't like how he's facing me. So if I press escape a few times, I double click this, it'll give me my cube here. I'm just going to twist it around here so I can see my cube a little bit better. There we go. Press OK, and you're done. Okay, Lego is finished. Print this off. You go File, Print. You're going to print to 216. I can't show you because I'm doing this at home. Um, and you're done. So thank you for completing the Lego. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, there's probably more fun to come, maybe. We'll see. Later.